Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video of Hearts Fire on 4, this time with the World Ablaze mod. So, um, I'm doing this video because I've been playing quite a few games with the World Ablaze mod and I think I could have grasped the basics um, of this mod. Um, this is the say quite different from the two big mods that I've been uh, bringing on my channel, the Black Eyes and the Total War mod. Um, I've also been trying the mod of the Napoleonic era, but, 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 uh, no, sorry, the post-Napoleonic era, but I, I'm sorry, I just don't like it. I, I like mods focused on warfare, on, uh, you know, panzers and divisions and stuff like that. And, um, so, yeah, I just wanted to make, like, a, a short review of, of this mod, what I think are the strengths and, in my opinion, some of the weaknesses, which, of course, they are my opinion, so if you are an expert of the mod and you think differently than me, um, yeah, please, let, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, so the mod starts with just one scenario, 1936, I think it makes sense. And I'm gonna pick Germany because I, I've been playing as, as Germany throughout all this time. Um, yeah, so the first thing that I noticed is that um, in the difficulty modifiers, there are no big boosts to the AI. And this is actually good because um, the mod runs quite smoothly now. I don't have to... I mean, so far, I only played until 1938-39, and so far, I didn't I didn't feel the need of scripting my custom event of, um, let's say, having Sweden annexing the entire of um, South and Central America, as well as other parts of the of, of the world. And um, if, we, if we dive straight into the um, the game. The mod is very good. Like Total War and Black Eyes, it has this um, opening uh, menu-like event or event-like menu in which you you can go through it and yeah, exactly. Um, you can have a look at the changes to the um, economy, the changes to the tech tree, and the changes to uh, to combat. I, I, in my opinion, the biggest changes are the the changes to the economy because the tech trees and we can have a look right now at the tech trees um for the major nations just like black eyes and total war uh, the the world blaze mod does have unique um tech trees for uh, yeah for the for armor navy navy and uh, air interestingly one big difference that i noticed is the presence of the um um, in infantry half tracks and the armored cars, which are all grouped together in into the um, armor uh, category, and I mean, look at this! It's it's really majestic, and it goes even to the 50s. Unlike, for instance, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, the, the Total War mod, which goes until 1945, I think. And um, still, I mean, this is really nice, really a big plus. Also the uh, researches here for the infantry, uh, they added mortars, um, medicine, uh, machine guns, and I mean, it's, it's, it's really, it's really nice, I really like it. And also in the industry tech, you have all of these technologies, which, um, you know, I, I am a big fan of uh, big uh, tech trees, because they really force you to make a decision, you know, I, I want to focus on infantry, artillery, uh, engineering and industry, but I will I will need to sacrifice a bit of my air force, and I really like this. And first of all, besides the tech trees um, um, co and combat, um, I mean, yeah, there are uh, recon and combat armored cars, and the um, the combat width is as uh, actually we can even uh, read it because um, yeah from. 100 to 90, so you can have 30 combat with divisions. And by the way, if you want, I could try and make a tutorial about templates that you guys can use in uh, um, 
world ablaze. Uh, then yeah, you have armored cars divided into combat and uh, scout. You have assault guns, heavy units like um, heavy artillery, and so on and so, on and so forth. And then here you have some information about uh, the, the Navy. But the biggest changes are the changes uh, to the economy. And um, I mean that because the World of Blaze really focuses on, I, I think, the one of the, the least explored aspect of Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, which, in my opinion, is really important to have it mo at least modeled in, into one one of the many mods available, like the world, the, the world of Blaze mod, and this is the concept of inflation. Um, over time, inflation will grow, and this will negatively affect your economy. And you can see it here, for instance. Uh, uh, there are all these ranges of, uh, let's say, e e economic fatigue, uh, let's say, and the the higher this level will be, and the more maluses you you will get in terms of consumer goods as you can see construction speed factory and, and dockyard output as well as civilian factories construction constru construction speed uh, there are some foci that allow you especially in the economic branch of the german uh, focus tree that will reduce uh, i think yeah moderately decreases economic fatigue by four percent and you you may want to balance this foci with other foci that will instead increase, exactly like, like this one, they will increase um, economic fatigue. What's worse of all is that over time there is like um, there is a timer somewhere. I think it's it's here. Yeah, exactly here. Um, of the low, at least I'm saying here in this timer because I've only played Germany. Uh, I haven't played other nations like the Soviet Union, Poland, France, Italy, or the, U the, the USA. But <clears throat> every 55 days, your economy will get more and more fatigued. Unless you change the uh, conscription law into, uh, I think, volunteers uh, only. So the more you mobilize and the faster your your economy will, um, I wouldn't say will go bankrupt, but will will struggle to keep up. <clears throat> and uh, I think this is an interesting concept to have in, in a mod because it really forces you um, to mobilize quickly and win wars quickly to then demobilize and prevent your economy from uh, collapsing, w which makes sense because. You either do like the, the the Nazis did in the in real life that because of their autarkic policy and their uh, I think was I think one historian called it the vampire economy they they were just stuck in a loop you know they had to conquer more t more lands to then exploit the resources uh, from that land but then the more land they occupy the more res resources they needed so it was like a vicious loop that in the end led to the yeah catastrophic invasion of the Soviet Union and uh, yeah that, that's I think one of the biggest plus of the mod another uh, big plus of the mod are the uh, ministries you have um, some uh, yeah it's hard to use to, 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 I, 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 I don't have the the, the word to describe but these are kind of options that you can pick uh, to change some uh, let's say internal aspect yeah th let's call it the the, the inner front let's say uh, and here you can pick the, the Ministry of Culture uh, to basically dictate where your women will be and what they will do uh, you have the Ministry of Defense that has um, uh, issues war bonds that then with they that they will uh, reduce the economic uh, fatigue. You have the uh, propaganda that increases uh, war support at the price of political power. You have the Ministry of Labor that yeah, allows you to um, do something with uh, your. Um, yeah, I wouldn't call them conscription laws, but uh, I guess, yeah, the inner front. You have the Ministry of Business, uh, it's, I mean, it's awesome, it's really good to, to, to see that you can pick 
Uh, I don't think you can pick every ideology, but you, you need to fulfill... Um, yeah, exactly. You need to have, like, a current ruling party is um, communist. In this case, I guess it's fascist. And primitive economy. Wow, that's... Uh, yeah. Uh, honestly, I, I, I never touched these. I, I've just been focusing on my uh, laws and uh, cabinet as well as on my research and production. And then, of course, you have many more slots in the military um, high command. Um, foci, I mean, it's... You know me, I like mods with unique foci icons and look at these. These are just outstanding. I love them. As much as I love the foci of the Total War mod. Um, because I truly appreciate the efforts that people, that the graphic designers put in making uh, all of these uh, unique um, icons. And yeah, I mean, honestly, if I was one of the developers of Paradox, I would really pay those people and ask them permission to use their icons into the original game because they are just so well done, really. They are outstanding, gorgeous, beautiful, really, really I'm 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 speechless by by the efforts. And um, the last thing that I wanted to mention are the resources. Uh, because World of Blaze uh, really focuses a lot on the economic aspect of the game. Um, the, 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 the people behind the team also introduced these new three, these three new resources. You have coal, you have bauxite, and you have iron. And um, you need those resources to make um, aluminum and, uh, and steel, as well as to construct uh, your uh, industrial um, powerhouse. Because as you can see, like one civilian factory consumes two iron and uh, one steel. And if you want to uh, produce more of these resources, you can either increase the infrastructures, but for uh, aluminum and for uh, steel, you need to have this steel mill and the um, aluminum smelter. Of course, they will consume other resources like coal, uh, bauxite, and uh, sorry, iron. Yeah, iron in the case of, of the steel mill, and um, aluminum and bauxite in the case, in the case of um, aluminum. Uh, but of course, yeah, this is one way through which you can get steel and aluminum uh, kind of for free. So. Um, Overall, my impression is very positive. Uh, one thing that I notice is that the world of Blaze does, does not have those huge counters uh, that the Total War and Black Eyes mods do have. Um, but I don't think that's really a, a big problem. I'm sorry for doing this, but I really do not like the symbols. I I grew up with Hearts of Iron Free, and I miss. I I need to have the uh, standard. NATO counters whenever I'm playing my uh, Hearts of Iron 4. And also, the last thing that I noticed is, that is the map changes uh, with the zoom level. Like, now you can have the political map, and if you zoom, uh, let's say, deeper, you get the geographical map. Still with some borders here and there, but... And that's also, honestly, a big plus. I I haven't played... I, I haven't played that many mods, but I think this is the first one that has this dynamic uh, map uh, zoom related uh, changes. So um, overall really really positive. I'm looking forward to bring uh, ideally a campaign with Germany. Um, I don't know how it will go so <laughs> it will be really my my very first try my very first time uh, trying it seriously on the channel so uh, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about the mod and if you would like to see me playing as Germany, playing and maybe failing miserably already in the invasion of Poland because I picked the wrong templates. 
um having said that i think that's all for this video guys thank you very much for watching thank you very much for supporting the channel every comment and every like helps and well stay tuned for more i'll see you all in the next episode